Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. So today I am going to be unboxing the Look Fantastic box for July 2021. If you're unfamiliar with Look Fantastic, it is a monthly beauty subscription that gets sent to you each month and has full and sample size products inside. So this box is $19 a month. Now this was sent to me free for review from Look Fantastic, so thanks so much for sending this my way. Um, the box itself, like I said, is $19 a month, but I do have a coupon code where you can get your first box for $1 if you sign up for a 12 month subscription. Now technically this box is based out of the UK, but you can buy it in US dollars. Um, and if you're in the UK, you can get this box as well. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I do lots of different subscription box unboxing videos here. So if you're a sub box lover like me, go ahead and subscribe and join this sub box lover family. Now this month, the box came in more eco-friendly packaging. Normally it comes in a really nice sturdy box that I actually like to use for storage, but this one's coming in this box. So I'm curious to see, I'm not sure what the QR code is or anything like that, but let's get inside. Well, it had a pull tab on the front and when you open it up, that's what it looks like. So on top is their little magazine and then all of the products come in a little um, makeup bag, which is so, so fun. So this is like a mini magazine. There are articles and how to on ingredients and things like that. It goes over all of the products inside as well. So it looks like there's an article on grapeseed oil, um, beauty A to Z travel edition. Um, I guess this theme is wanderlust for this month. So behind the theme, um, and so that's really cool. It also in the back, it has cleansing 101 or double cleansing 101 actually, and then has some sneak peeks in the back as well. So this month it does come with a bag, which is not as normal. I actually really like this bag. We get a lot of bags and if you get a lot of subscription boxes, I like that the front is clear. The back, it's like a white or cream pleather. It says look fantastic beauty box. The zipper pull is gold, but the zipper itself is white. It has a little handle. This is actually nice quality. It does doesn't feel cheap, it feels really nice. This is a great bag for toiletries, which definitely goes along with the theme of Wanderlust. All right, the very first product is from Revlon. It looks like it's a lipstick, so let me get this open. It is sealed with that plastic shrink wrap around it. All right, so let's see the shade. The shade in the pamphlet looks really pretty. Ooh, it is the same shade. Ooh, very, very pretty. That is what the shade looks like. This is 225 Rose Wine. Um, so this is a creamy lipstick that adds a pop of natural color to your pout. It's infused with a liquid silk formula that seals both pigments and softness for a lip look that's long lasting and doesn't crack or flake. I will swatch this. Oh, it smells like drugstore lipstick, which I kind of like the smell of that. This, ooh, that's a pretty color. It's kind of a burnt orange pinky kind of color, but I do really like it. Now, I'll be honest, I don't wear a lot of stick lipsticks, but I do actually really like this color and be interested in wearing this. Um, I don't know why I keep, I keep, why do I keep smelling it? That's really weird. But I actually think that's a very, very pretty color. It's neutral enough. Ooh, the lid is clear. I did not realize that. Um, I like that a lot. That's a great packaging because you stick them in those like lipstick holders, you can see from the top what shade it is. So that's great. Um, I haven't really purchased Revlon makeup in a really long time, but I really like this color, so I can't wait to try it out. It does feel very creamy on my hand. So obviously that was a full size product. The next one is from Illamasqua, and this is their Beyond Liquid Highlighter in the shade OMG, I think, because it says OMG on there. Now I'm not a big liquid highlight person, so I'll probably put this in a future giveaway. It says this will give you a striking strobe-like glow. You can mix it into your base makeup for a natural luminosity or apply it directly to the high points of the face for a champagne glowy finish. Um, like I said, I think it's a pretty color. If you're into liquid highlights, this is great. It's a small sample size, but to be fair, like you don't need a ton of this. Um, I do like their regular highlighters that I've tried before, but again, liquid isn't really my thing. It's just, I have really oily skin. It moves around on my face. I've said it a million times, but I feel like this is still a nice product to receive. All right, the next product out is from Star Skin VIP, and this is their seven second luxury all day mask. All right, what does it say about this? It is a miracle seven step skincare regimen in one handy pad that combines Star Skin's famous seven second morning and overnight masks. It's a double-sided cleansing pad that works to hydrate and refresh your complexion as it cleans for a quick but effective skincare. So there's glycerin, niacinamide, grapeseed extract, and berry seed extract. I know they talk about grapeseed oil in the pamphlet, so that's actually, or magazine, which is also great. So I guess you massage the textured side of the pad all over your face, then you flip it over and complete the skin stair 
care, <laughs> the skin stare. The skincare step by swiping the smooth side across the skin, then you finish with your serums and moisturizer of choice. I actually like the idea of that. I don't know, I've actually been wanting to use something like this. My skin is bad right now and I keep saying that and then it just keeps getting worse and I'm just still, I need to work on it. You probably can't tell because I have makeup on right now, but um, I am excited to try this out. I don't, I know that star skin stuff isn't the cheapest. I don't know how much one of these costs. They don't put the prices in here, but I'm actually excited to try this out. All right, the next thing we have is from Elemis, which is a pricey brand. This is their Superfood AHA Glow Cleansing Butter. Ooh, I actually have gotten the full size of, size of this in my boxy charm, maybe the, the Lux potentially. Um, so this says, want dewy glowing skin, who doesn't? This is a priming moisturizer. Oh, in the picture they're showing the, gl the glow cleansing butter, but this is the glow priming moisturizer. All right, so we have the glow priming moisturizer. I was looking at the picture. They put the wrong image on the picture. Okay, so this is a, I don't own the full size of this then. So this is the priming moisturizer. It's here to give you smooth, radiant complexion of your dreams, blended with nourishing ingredients that will also brighten your skin. Perfect for a daily moisturizer, primer, or as a natural base. It has kombucha, ginger, and green tea seed oil inside. I feel like this moisturizer might be something I use when I don't wear makeup. I'm not a huge glowy moisturizer priming type of person. Like I said, I have oily skin, so I have to be careful with some of those products because sometimes it's too much, especially in the summer because my skin is just extra oily in the summer. That's just the way it is. If you're an oily skin girl, you know the struggle. But that being said, I'm still excited to try it out and test it and see if it works with my skin. Um, and I always love trying new LMS products out. All right, so the next product has very cute packaging. This is by Grow Gorgeous, and this is their Defense Anti-Pollution Leave-In Spray. Um, this is a protective hair mist that shields your hair from heat damage, color fade, and external aggressors. It's vegan friendly and formulated without parabens, sulfates, or silicones. It's especially great for greasy hair that is prone to buildup. So it says green tea extract, sunflower extracts, and vitamin B. So you spray it onto towel dried hair, comb through, and style as normal. Ooh, I actually really like the idea of this. I don't do a ton to my hair. Um, I'm not a hair person, um, which is why I like my short hair because I don't have to do as much to it. But I, this sounds like a product I'm actually excited to try out. I wonder, does it smell good? I'm gonna like open it the wrong way. It does have like a little spray pump. This is a matte black packaging. It has the rose gold. It's very, very nice packaging, particularly because I'm thinking this is sample size. Ooh, that smells like sexy, woman sexy hair. So I'm actually excited because this will give you kind of like a hair fragrance. It's not like so strong that, it, that like it's gonna be like a perfume perfume, but I really do like the scent of that and cannot wait to try that in my hair. And then last but not least, we have this here. This is from Mind Tan and this is their Hydrating Face and Body Tan Mist. So this is a refreshing face and body spray, which acts as a gradual tanner to give you a bronzy summer glow. With a lightweight formula that instantly absorbs in zero fake tan smell, this gradual tanner is suitable for the face, body, and is perfect for that golden glow. This cucumber, citric acid, jojoba oil, and macadamia seed oil. I get very, very nervous with tanning products. One, I don't have a lot of experience because I'm pale, and I just embrace the fact that I am pale. The spray makes me nervous because I just feel like you could miss areas very easily. Now, I don't know how much of a grad, like how intense this tanner would be, but I don't know. It's a spray evenly. I almost feel like you want to run and rub it in, but that's not in the directions. I don't know. I'm not not going to try it, but I feel like I'll spray this on my foot like my foot first and just see how it is. I get very nervous about self tanners because I'm somebody who gets bored of doing self-care things quickly. I like to do self-care, but it needs to be something that doesn't take a lot of time because then I lose interest and I just don't put the same effort in. So if I wanted to do this on my whole body, on my first arm, I might like put in the effort, but by my legs, I'd be like, I just, I don't care anymore. <laughs> Can anyone else relate? So I, I, I'm curious, maybe I'll just use it on my face. I don't know, I, uh, I get nervous about self-tan because I'm just pale and I know that I still won't be tan if I use this. So. This seems more approachable to me than a regular self tanner. So I'm gonna try it, but it is definitely out of my comfort zone. So that was everything in the July Look Fantastic box. I actually really like this box. This is one of my favorite Look Fantastic boxes we've had in a while. I'm excited about pretty much everything. The only thing that I probably won't use, <laughs> love that for me, is this 
liquid highlight. So I'll put this in a future giveaway, but everything else, I think the lipstick's great, the Star Skin product, LMS, like all the stuff I'm excited about. I thought this was a really good box and the little makeup travel bag is super cute as well. So definitely let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. What did you think of this month's Look Fantastic box? I always love to hear your thoughts. Again, I do have the coupon or link down below where you can get one, your first box for $1 if you sign up for a 12 month subscription. And I'll see you in my next video.